A few years back, I showed you how to create this photo manipulation using Photoshop on your computer. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create stunning art right on your phone. To get started, we're going to use the Adobe Express app. Before we dive in, make sure you download all the assets you need to your phone. I'll drop a link to the ones I'm using today so you can practice along. Once you've launched Adobe Express, tap on the plus sign. To create a document, you can choose from the suggested sizes or go with a custom option. I'm going with 1080 by 1450. Tap on the plus sign, go to gallery, choose photos and browse through your albums to find the assets. You can import all the images at once, but it's best to start with the image that's going to be the furthest from our view. In this case, it's the night sky. Now that you have your first image on the canvas, you can resize it and move it around. Tap the plus button again to import more images. This time, let's bring in the image of the moon. I wanna remove the sky from this image and keep just the moon. To do that, tap on remove background. And as you can see, the moon has been automatically selected, but the edges around the dark area look a bit rough and don't blend that well with the sky behind it. I'm going to move it first, then go to erase, tap on quick select and change the mode to circle brush. Adjust the eraser brush size to 100, set the hardness to one and opacity to around 50% then slowly start erasing around the dark area of the moon to blend it in with the sky. Now I got a lot of comments on the original videos saying that you're not supposed to see the stars around this area because they should be blocked by the moon. So I will show you how to edit them out later in the video. Once you're done erasing, hit confirm. Let's go to adjust. Here I want to tweak the colors of the moon to make it match the background. I'm going to bring the contrast down a little decrease the saturation and lower the warmth. Hit confirm once you're satisfied with the look. Let's deselect the image, tap the plus sign again to import more assets. This time, let's bring in the image of the mountains, increase its size to fill the frame and move it down a bit to fit the composition. The next thing I wanna do is remove the background. Zoom in closely around the edges and you will see that the selection isn't perfect. There's some spillage around the edges that we need to clean up. Select the eraser, bring the size all the way down, set the hardness to around 50 and set the opacity to 60%. And to erase this fine edge, it helps if you use a pen. I'm using the pen that comes with my Galaxy S24 Ultra to slowly brush out the white edge. Now, although this part takes really long, it's really important if you wanna get a professional result. So make sure you take your time with this step. If you go too far with the eraser or wanna restore parts of the image, you can go to restore, adjust the brush size and paint over the area that you wanna bring back and then hit confirm. We also need to match the colors of the mountains to the rest of the scene. So let's go to adjust. The mountains are meant to appear very far in the distance, so we need to give them a slightly faded look. Bring the contrast, highlights and shadows down and reduce the warmth to match the background. And once you're done, hit confirm. By the way, you can also tap here to reveal all the layers in your project. This can be very useful if you wanna change their order or easily select certain objects. Let's tap on the plus sign again. For the foreground, I wanna use this image of the field. First, let's get rid of the sheep using the remove object tool, change the brush size according to the object you wanna remove and simply paint over it. And you can erase multiple objects at once. Hit remove, give it some time to process and Adobe Express will use generative AI to give you three options to choose from. I'm gonna go with the first one and just like that, the sheep are gone. Next, I wanna rotate the image and place it at the bottom right here, scale it up. I wanna remove the sky, so let's go ahead and tap on remove background. And just like that, the background has been automatically removed. You can adjust the mask by removing or adding certain areas. For example, I wanna get rid of this hill in the distance right here. So let's go ahead and choose a race. Make sure it's set to circle brush, bring the size down to 30, set the opacity somewhere around 50%, the hardness down to around 20, and simply use the brush to erase this part right here. And just like we did earlier with the mountains, you can use a smaller brush to refine the edges and have a cleaner looking mask. Once you're satisfied with the look, you can go ahead and adjust the colors of this layer, 
Compared to the rest of the image, it looks too bright. So let's go ahead and bring that down. Decrease the shadows and the saturation. We can bring the warmth down to get a slight blue tint since that's the dominating look in our scene. Tap confirm. Next, let's import the image of the Jeep. We have three cars in the image, but I wanna use this one. So I'm gonna place it in the center, go to remove background. Now all the cars have been detected as a subject in the image. So let's go to the erase tool, bring the opacity all the way up, increase the size and simply remove the other car from the image. I wanna readjust the position of the car a little bit here. I think this looks pretty good. Now one of the reasons the car looks like it doesn't belong to the scene is that it's not casting any shadows. So let's go to the erase tool, select restore, set the size around 67, bring the hardness all the way down and bring the opacity down to around 10. Then simply start painting over the bottom here to bring back the shadows from the original image. Make sure you don't overdo it so it looks subtle and blends well with the field in the background. Once you're done with that, tap confirm. I think it looks pretty good. And as you can see, the whole scene is slowly coming together. To improve this even further, let's select the car again. Go to adjust. Let's give it a bit more contrast. Increase the brightness increase the shadows and bring the saturation down we can also give it a bit of a warmer tint i think this looks pretty good so let's tap confirm next i want to bring in the main subject which is the guy that we're going to place on top of the car let's remove the background let's move him over here make sure the scale makes sense relative to the car as you zoom in closer you can make more precise movements now again, we have kind of a weird spillage around the mask here. So as usual, go to erase, bring the size all the way down, increase the hardness, set the opacity to 60 and start refining the edges. Although this part takes so long, for some reason, I find it really enjoyable. If you too are enjoying the process so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future uploads and give this video a like if you find it useful, it will really help me out. Once you're done, hit confirm. Now it's time to adjust the colors. Let's bring the contrast down to around 20, the brightness up to around 13 and bring down the shadows same goes for saturation and let's make the image a little warmer tap confirm i've also included a link to the headlights image in the assets list let's bring that over i'm going to remove one of the lights and move the layer over here to make a copy scroll to the right tap on more duplicate and place the copy on top of the second headlight now that looks pretty good but i think it's always a nice touch to add some moving elements to the scene so let's bring the image of a shooting star to blend it better with the background go to adjust bring the brightness and contrast all the way down let's give it a bit more color and again match the warmth to that of the scene finally go to opacity and let's bring that down to around 75 percent and confirm i want to create a copy of the same shooting star so let's go to more duplicate and move the copy all the way over here make it a bit smaller perfect now although the scene looks pretty good already i want to make it even more dramatic by adding atmosphere and doing some color grading and to do that i'm gonna use a different app so let's go ahead and export the image first by tapping over here then tapping download once the image is stored in your gallery open the adobe lightroom app this app is also a part of your creative cloud membership if you don't have one you can actually subscribe to the lightroom app for less than two dollars a month once you launch lightroom tap over here to import an image choose the photo that you just exported from adobe express tap on add then tap on the image to start editing now as i mentioned earlier we're not supposed to see the stars on top of the moon here to remove them let's select the healing tool decrease the brush size and simply start painting over the stars to remove them make sure you clean up the whole round shaped area around the moon so now that we got that out of the way let's focus on adding some mist around the horizon to make the scene a bit more dramatic to do that go to masking tap the plus sign to add a new mask let's go with brush 
You can use these three options here to customize the brush, make sure the feather is set to a maximum, you can set the opacity to around 50% and start brushing around this area. Don't worry about going over certain objects that are meant to be in front. I'm going to show you how to fix that in just a minute. Once you're done painting, let's go to light and adjust some settings. This will affect the mask area only. To create a realistic mist, start by bringing the contrast down, increase the blacks, now that you can see what it looks like, you can also add more mist to other areas of the image if you want. I'm gonna undo that. Let's go to effects and bring the dehaze value down. This will make the mist look much more realistic. Now to bring the car in front of the mist, select the mask. And do you see this little plus and minus icon right here? Tap on it and choose subtract from mask then go to select subject. This will automatically detect the subject in your scene and magically subtract it from the mask. You can also use the brush for a more manual editing. Let's go ahead and add another mask. Choose the brush. This time paint over the shadows below the car. Go to light. Let's make this look a bit darker by bringing down the exposure, the shadows and the blacks. Now select the mask and again go to subtract from mask. Select subject and just like that, the shadows are only visible under the car. Let's tap confirm. Another thing I just noticed is that the colors of the shadows look a bit different than the main foreground. So I'm going to spend some more time adjusting the colors to match the rest of the field. Next, let's create a third mask. Choose linear gradient and let's create a gradient around the bottom here. The more you stretch it, the more feather you're going to have. I want to darken the foreground, so let's bring down the exposure, shadows and highlights. I think I'm happy with how it looks like so far. Again, with the mask selected, let's tap on subtract from mask, then choose brush. Because the car headlights are on, we're supposed to see a bright luminance in front of the car. So let's use the brush to erase some of the darkness that we just created in this area. We can always return to the dark gradient and make some adjustments. I'm really happy with the overall composition and lighting that we've achieved so far. And now I want to work on some color grading. Go to edit, add some contrast. Let's bring the shadows down. Now obviously depending on what kind of look you have in mind, your settings are probably going to look different than mine. But what I usually like to do is use curves to lift up the shadows and add a slight blue tint to them as well. Also I like to play around with the color mix feature. I'm going to saturate the reds a bit to make the jacket pop a bit more. You can also play with the hue of specific colors. Let's change the yellow and change the hue to make the field look a bit more orange, which really complements the blue that dominates the top part of our scene. Let's bring its saturation down a bit. Now let's go to blue and bring it more towards cyan. Let's add some saturation to it. And that looks pretty good. Now let's go to effects. You can add some clarity to the image to bring out a bit more detail. I also wanna add a bit of a hazy look to it. And I always make sure to add a vignette to my photo manipulations. Increase the feather and set the roundness to 100. If you want to see the difference between this and the original look, you can long tap on the image. As you can see, using Adobe Lightroom has made a significant difference in the overall appearance of our artwork. And now it looks way better. I think the car's shadow looks a bit too dark. Let's go back to the masks select the shadow mask and increase the exposure slightly. The same goes for blacks. Let's take a look. Nice, now that looks much better. Once you're satisfied with your edits, tap on the share icon and choose save a copy to device to export your edit. And that right there is the final result. What do you think? Do you believe this edit stands up to the one made on a computer? Also, let me know what other videos you want to see on the channel. In the meantime, stay creative and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.